HVAC workers regularly have a great time working with each other on the job. Install days can bring teams together because there's nothing like the satisfaction of getting someone air conditioning who's been without it. Getting on the job and removing the old package unit on the roof as quick as possible so that they can be ready when the crane gets there to place the new unit. That's what we're talking about here on Fox Family Heating and Air. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Usually an install crew has one main leader or foreman who's in charge of the job. The rest of the crew are helpers. Whether experienced or not, when a crane is involved, only one person from the team needs to be communicating with the crane operator. This way there's no confusion when two or more people from the same install crew are giving hand signals to the crane operator at the same time. For the most part, in residential package unit installs on the roof of a house, the crane operator can see the spot that he's placing the unit at. Maybe not the actual footprint of the curb itself, but experience creates a comfort level for the operator to get the unit pretty darn close to where he needs to be. There are other obstacles the crane operator needs to navigate through. Straps hold the unit secure as the hook holds everything together on the way to the placement. Sometimes there are trees or a giant radio antenna or even high voltage power lines that need to be avoided as the unit gets lifted to the rooftop. Hand signals are a clear way for the install foreman and the crane operator to communicate with each other. As the unit gets closer to the placement of the spot, the installer can't go yelling at the operator. They're too far apart. Hand signals are a clear way for the install foreman and the crane operator to communicate with each other. As the unit gets closer to the placement spot, the installer can't go yelling at the operator. They're too far apart. So a series of hand signals are used. Once again, it's important that only one person is giving the hand signals. Unless a situation presents itself where a relay is set up between the final resting point of the crane operator. For instance, sometimes a package unit isn't being lifted onto the roof, but onto the back side of the house where the operator can't see the final spot or the hand signals given by the installer at the unit. Only then would a second installer be like the middleman relaying the signals to the crane. A culture of safety is super important. New installers can get excited. The homeowners almost assuredly come out of the house to watch the big crane do its job. And the neighbors from the street tend to poke their heads out of their house to see what all the noise is about across the street. So here's a situation where several people who are fairly new to this whole process, which usually only takes 10 to 20 minutes, can find themselves in a potentially life-threatening situation. A 600 pound unit is about to be hoisted from the street vertically about 30 to 100 feet across the front yard, over the rooftop, and around any obstacles and finally put down on the resting spot. Another reason for the experienced foreman on the job has to take control of all of these moving parts. How many people on the job site are standing near the path of the unit to the rooftop? The neighbor comes over to talk to the homeowner about his new system Kids are running around all giddy for excitement. One installer is climbing up the ladder to help you out. What could go wrong? Plenty. One of my biggest fears on the crane sites are the uncontrollables. Mainly things that can happen with a 600 pound unit swinging in the air over our heads. So I tell people before the lift, nicely, to get out of the way. Don't find yourself under the unit while it's being hoisted to the roof. Installers on the roof included. God forbid if a cable snapped or other mechanical issue happened, we can pay for a new front yard swing or even a damaged roof for that matter, but you can't replace a life, plain and simple. When the unit gets placed, one or two installers usually have their hand on it, guiding it down to its spot while the crane slowly lowers it down. Installers at this point have to watch that their hands don't get caught in the wrong spot under the unit. The biggest safety point to be made is make sure that there's no power lines in the area that you plan on hoisting and operating in. Make sure you have plenty of space between the area that you plan on working and the power lines. 
crane lifts on past jobs I've had have been so close to the power lines that you can even see an arcing from the line to the boom of the crane. Nobody gets hurt. It's just important to observe general common sense to not go over and touch the crane or be near it. The crane company that we use is super professional. We've worked together on crane lifts hundreds of times. They do their part, but they aren't necessarily responsible for the job site safety of everyone working around the crane. That's where working together, respectfully, plays a big part. I keep an eye out for the crane operator and he advises us on certain things that might make the crane lift go smoother. Again, communicate with those that will be near the crane before, during, and after a lift to make sure everybody's safe. Have a plan and stick to it. And keep it similar from job to job. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel on every job. I wanted to bring up a couple other things. You need to walk safely on rooftops. Don't step backwards. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Don't step backward. Yet it happens all the time, and even though it's often without negative repercussions, in a high hazard situation, like on a roof, it could be a critical mistake. Don't be hanging out on your cell phone either. It's bad enough walking around the city streets accidentally bumping into each other for not paying attention to where you're going. Rooftops are no place for distraction. Always slow down when you get close to the edge of a roof. If you find yourself in a rush on the rooftop, maybe you should ask yourself why, other than you're trying to get the job done fast so you can go fishing. Newsflash, it's hard to go fishing when your leg is broken, your ribs are cracked, and spine is injured from falling off the roof. Secure your ladder. Tying off your ladder, even on a single story roof, is so smart, but I rarely see it being done. This is another culture thing. As the leader on your job, show the rest of your crew how it's supposed to be done. Even as a helper on the job, maybe the foreman is thinking about other stuff. Who says you can't tie the ladder off? You know it's the right thing to do. Similar to that is something I bought for my team called a gutter guard. It props itself inside the gutter, between the outer edge of the gutter and the trim of the roof edge, providing a place for the ladder to rest without damaging the gutter. How many times a day do you go up and down that ladder? How many times can that gutter flex before being permanently disfigured from the last HVAC crew that was on their roof? I've been on jobs before where we thought the lift would go one way, but when the lift operator got there, they decided it had to go another way. Go with the person who has the most experience with the crane and its capabilities. And if that's not something that works for you and your team that day, put the lift off until you've discussed it with your supervisor. Then you can go in with a solid plan for the lift and everybody will be on the same page. Hopefully this helps refocus your intentions when working on rooftops and dealing with crane lifts. It's a super fun experience. Everybody just has to make sure they're doing it the right way. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.